Hi everyone, welcome to Her Say. I am so excited to be here with Daphne again. <laughs> so excited to be here. Okay, we have a few stories from iVillage. The first one is that two-year-old Vivian Jolie Pitt, that adorable little girl, is wearing nail polish. So what's the big deal? How do you feel about the mini Manny Petty? <laughs> okay, my girls yeah. love to paint their nails. <laughs> And they love like the brightest colors. So literally I just did like a rainbow of colors on Poet's nails yeah. and Jagger wanted red nails. And Jagger's three and Poet's five. And you know what? It's fun. I did it when I was little. Well, we, we were gonna, this will be our first disagreement of the week, Soleil, <gasps> because I am totally anti doing nail polish no. on girls. I don't want to wear what? bikinis. I don't let her play with makeup. I don't want them to her to get in the idea that she needs to do any of that stuff. Oh, see, my girls like love diving into my makeup and they want to play and I have so much I fun. I let her try on the nails. clothes. That's it. No, she knows. She goes to other kids' houses and, and all, I mean, all her girlfriends wear it. Right. Right. But she's like, my mommy won't let me. No controversy over a healthy birth plan. Pink, who I'm often mistaken for, uh, we had a similar experience where we both wanted the natural childbirth thing, okay. but then our kids were breached, so we had to have a C-section. So I think it's, I always tell first time pregnant ladies now, look, don't get attached to the outcome except for healthy birth. Right. Because I was like, oh, I wanted my healthy birth. <laughs> I just think people should not feel guilty about how no. it ends up happening. Exactly. And and yeah. honestly, like, you know, I, I think we can't set out on a certain expectation because, you know, expect the unexpected, I exactly. think, is, is the key. Just here. like parenting. Yes, exactly. So via video chat, we have Mary Darling from Fabulous on a Budget. She's gonna tell us the fabulous summer essentials we have to have. Hi, Mary. Hi, guys. First up, I have a simple sandal. It goes with everything. And I think it just kind of upscales the flip-flop look, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it can get a little too toe jammy with the flip-flops yeah. after a while. Next up, I have a bold necklace, like a statement necklace. I love turquoise, personally. But I think you throw that on with a maxi dress, you throw that on with a t-shirt, and it just makes you look pulled together and summery and fresh. And I love the Panama hat. I feel like last summer was all about kind of the fedora and the straw fedora, but the Panama hat is kind of classic, has like almost a white, and I love the black sort of ribbon around it. I'm a big, big hat freak. Yeah, yeah. I love like the cat eye sunglasses right now. I mean, not anything too extreme, too 1950s, but just a little bit. I think it gives you that 50s glamour. So next up is the tote bag which is great because you can throw all these things into your tote bag and not lose your sunglasses, hopefully. And I love it, you throw a bag, you throw a blanket in there for the beach or whatever. Well, those are great, great suggestions. Thank you so much, thank Mary. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye. You too. Bye. Okay, so our next segment up, cooking dinner for your own family is one thing. But what to do if you're having another family over yeah. for dinner as well? Well, don't worry because our friend Chef Marcel Cosit has the answer for you. Hi, I'm here with my good friend Chef Marcel Cosit from GoodBite.com because he's going to teach me how to cook for a crowd. I mean, I've got my go-to recipes that work well with a family, but when it comes to a big group, well, I need to step it up a little bit. So he's gonna teach me a recipe that's going to be good for both adults and kids, so everyone is gonna be happy at my table this weekend. One of my favorite ways of impressing my dinner guests is to pick something that sounds gourmet, but it's actually really simple to make, just like this beef stroganoff I'm about to show you. So we got okay. some beef. You like a little sizzle, bag. sizzle. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at the sound Get of that. Cooking. All right. Oh, okay. So we have the beef, and we're going to add the onions as well. Okay. Okay. This is pretty much nice and golden brown. Nice. We're going to move this off the fire. Can you okay. give me that bowl there? Sure. Perfect. Okay. Throw that butter right in there. And we're going to throw the mushrooms. Okay. I love that. Look at that teamwork. Let's add some uh, pepper in. Okay. And the, yeah. That's it. And now you just caramelize this. You need that caramelization. So this Philadelphia cooking cream is creamy and it's the perfect ingredient for the beef stroganoff. Now it's coming alive, this dish. We're gonna put the beef back in there with the onions. Okay. Add the beef broth. All right. We're gonna stir this all up and we're gonna bring this to a simmer. We're gonna pour this right over the noodles. Let's do it little by little there. Oh my God, this smells amazing. Mm -hmm. I always say you eat with your eyes, mm -hmm. right? It's gotta yeah. look good. And right now, it's gotta taste good I have too. an empty belly looking at well. this. I'm ready to put some in here. Thank you, Marcel. For this recipe and other great dinner ideas, go to cookphilly.com.
Thanks so much for joining us at hersay.com. Please come back and visit us every day to find out all the hottest stories buzzing around the web. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and sign up for our daily newsletter. Bye. Bye.